everybody, welcome to day two of our summer vacation. I'm gonna do the intro for it real quick. If you missed day one, I'll put a little card up in the corner. You probably wanna go back and check that first, kind of our trip down to Kanab. Uh, but before we get into the vacation, I just wanna do the channel shout out and the Minute on the Mountain. The channel shout out is Gray's Outdoors. Uh, he's from England, does a lot of canoeing trips, does some bushcrafting stuff, some cooking videos. Really like his channel. Just seems like a real down to earth guy. I say that about all the channels I watch, but those are the channels I like. Guys who like the outdoors and are just real humble and down to earth. So Gray's Outdoors, check out his channel when you get a chance. So again, that's the channel shout out, Gray's Outdoors. For the Men on the Mountain, I'm gonna do one last installment in this Biblical Manhood series. Thanks again for all the positive feedback I've gotten from you guys on it. And the trait that I wanna talk about today is accountability. Now, obviously, I'm not saying that's just something men should have. Women should have it, too. I think if we're pursuing biblical manhood, we need to be a man who does what he says he's going to do. The verse I want to link that to is Proverbs 20, 25, which says, Don't trap yourself by making a rash promise to God and then only later counting the cost. Now, in that context, obviously, it's talking about promises you make to the Lord. I think there's a a broader application too and I know it's one I've been guilty of I'll make commitments without really thinking through the implications of that so buddy and and then when that happens you know you either put your family at risk or you squash your calendar or you end up not following through on something you said you would do so when we make a commitment to do something we need to follow through and do it so I think that means we need to count the cost ahead of time you know it's okay to Tell someone you have to think about it, you have to pray about it before you make a commitment. But anyway, that's the last trait I want to talk about, again, for this Biblical Manhood series is accountability. Proverbs 20, 25, check that out when you get some time. And I hope you guys will enjoy our trip. Uh, this is the second part of day two. We explored the sand caves by Kanab and then also a little slot canyon along Kanab Creek. So hopefully you enjoy the scenery. All right, everybody, we just left Moki Cave, and now we're heading over to the Sand Caves. I saw that uh, Steve and his wife, Christy, if you ever watch Paxalot Channel, I know they hiked to these little sand caves when they did this trip. If you've never checked out his channel, check him out. He does a much better job filming this kind of stuff than I do. I always just catch little tiny glimpses, but anyway. We're gonna go over to the sand cave, see what we got. Got an upside down car hanging out over there. I don't see that every day. Yucca plant. Getting ready to bloom out. Right there. There's the caves over there. I don't know if you can see them from this far away. But we're getting pretty close. Big caves up here. Oh, this sand is soft. These go super far back. I don't know if you can see anything, but I've got my phone flashlight on. It's completely dark. You can't really see in front of you at all. But I made it to the back. Back of the cave. So it's pretty cool. And then over there you can see the entrance. It's 
probably gonna run off, guys. We got a couple little quail right on the side of the road. There you go. And they went. All right, guys. Found a cool little slot canyon down here by Best Friends Animal Sanctuary. I've got. Of course, they're already hammered now because we've been hiking the sand. But I've got new shoes, and I don't want to get them wet. We didn't bring water shoes. I didn't think about that. So I'm not going to go up in the slot, but that, that's really cool. Maybe we'll come back here tomorrow in the heat of the day and tromp through there barefoot. That water will feel good. So it's not very long. This little slot canyon only probably runs 80 yards, maybe 100, maybe 100 yards, 150 yards actually. But so, there's Ron and Hannah up there, Caleb up there, there comes Andrew, Jordan's up there somewhere, and then here's what it looks like downstream. Caleb's going barefoot, so he'll give you guys the first person view going up the slot canyon.